Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are here for another episode of my K-drama watch-along for While You Were Sleeping. This week, we're going to be talking about episodes 9 through 12, and let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit shorter. So episodes 9 through 12, we have a lot going on, but the pattern really established itself um, in that it takes about three episodes for a case to progress. So what we see is the end of the last case revolving around the uh, volleyball star, I believe she was volleyball, um, who died and it was accused of Wu Take's friend. Um, so we see the end of that in that um, they had already, they finally figured out that it was the robot vacuum cleaner and then they went and went out to the dump and actually found and procured that vacuum cleaner but it was really terrible because it was um, Wu Take's friend was still getting a lot of accusations and while for the most part the public stopped accusing everybody there was still these levels of doubts going on which led to um, the actual volleyball person um, her father was very upset with the results. They still believe that it was an actual person, even though it was proved to have been completely an accident. And he actually went after Jay Chen and shot Jay Chen right in front of Hongju, which gave Hongju so much like internal like issues in that it reminded her of the situation with her father. Um, but Jay Chen got shot he was very badly injured he ended up in the hospital but he did get better um there were actually some funny moments because during this time hongju and jay chan got even closer and um at one point in time jay chan was being was still delusional and he went to go what he thought was hug what who he thought was hongju but it wasn't actually hongju and hongju was just kind of looking and then jay chan realized what was going on and it just it was very funny because it then ended up it led to an awkward situation with his co-worker even in the future and in a later episode which is actually very funny but they have such a good dynamic between Hongju and Jae Chen it's really enjoyable to see um, but after his little stint in the hospital um, we find out that both um, Hongju and Wu Taek have both had dreams of what happens next to Jae Chen and that is as soon as he gets back to work he is going to have a dream about his next case in which, in this case, um, a man was injured and there has to be an autopsy performed to find the killer. But in doing the autopsy, if they do the autopsy, then since he is an organ donor, he cannot donate his organs and seven people die. But if um, he doesn't do the autopsy and that means that he cannot catch the actual man's killer, but in the uh, the seven people, they do um, they end up dying because they don't get the organs. So he has this decision to make, and either way, it ends up to J Chen feeling re he ends up regretting things and leaves being a prosecutor and Jay Chen doesn't want this but he can't avoid going back to work forever despite saying that he would totally run away um, and when he goes back he is presented the case and he sees everything start to happen and he ultimately decides to do something a little bit different and that is um, he finds a precedent and finds a way so that he can actually do the autopsy and do the organ doning um, as fast as possible so that ends up being what happens but let me rewind because his co-worker is actually so since his co-worker is one of his friends on the show um, like his coworker is friends with everybody in the office, but she actually has a son, which they haven't revealed yet in this show. <laughs> um, and we find out that she has a son who actually is on dialysis and needs this organ. So when all of this ends up happening, Jay Chen actually ends up 
doing this procedure which allows for them both both sides of this argument to actually work out um, and it ends up being really good except for that Yobum of course ends up on this case and Yobum tries his hardest to make it go his way obviously that is his job but um, you can really tell more and more that he regrets everything um, because you see him washing his hands almost to the bear again um, but yeah um, also in these four episodes you start to see um, a little bit of a break in the bond between the three and you start to see more focus between Hongju and Jae Chen while Wu Tae starts to get pushed to the side a little bit and it, you can feel it in their dynamic um, Wu Tae doesn't feel as comfortable um, while Hongju and Jae Chen are I, I, I can't remember if they're officially dating or not but they definitely have re they're, if they aren't they are very close but yeah it's that break of that friendship um, also it was revealed finally that Jae Chen and Hongju do remember that they were friends as kids and that is definitely a big moment for them um, because that forces them to address some of their previous thoughts and Hongju actually does by the end of these four episodes um, acknowledge that everything that happened isn't actually her fault which she has led lived with for quite a long time but yeah those are the four episodes next week we'll be doing the last four episodes we'll see if i do another K drama watch along um if you guys like it please make sure you like the video that'll let me know if i should be doing this um and uh after next week's we'll we would vote we'll take a little break and then we'll vote on what would be the next show if you guys do want that but i will see you guys next time